So it's nice to have the Wookiee back uh, in a beautiful carbon form. Took a two year hiatus. Uh, da Vinci had a lot of success last season with their Darwin 27.5 carbon frame, which was um, kind of cut from the same mold. Um, so we, we see a return. The Wookiee's coming back now. One, one model for now, um, perhaps with the addition of some aluminum ones in the future. But for now, we're running the Cobain 27.5 Plus as sort of a you know bigger tire 29 uh, at the outer uh, diameter and uh, sort of a, uh, the Wookiee would be more of your lightweight chassis, true 29er uh, sort of race machine. So first, uh, first time we're seeing this really in, in uh, any of the lineups now for 2017 is the new Fox Factory Stepcast 32. So we're getting that beautiful Stepcast that we saw a lot of pro riders riding with, um, including Canadian Emily Batty and, uh, and pretty much uh, now we're seeing it now prevalent on the entire XC circuit. Um, the whole idea behind the step cast is just removing material that wasn't necessary, <clears throat> um, just reducing the size of the internals. 100 mil, boosted, um, so it's ready to go on any modern platform. Wheels on the Wookiee are taken care of uh, by race face. We've got essentially the original turbine wheel hubs, which are fantastic. Straight pull, Sapham spokes, double walled uh, rim, nice wide profile now, just, uh, you know, in accordance to sort of where the trends are going. Um, Maxxis takes care of the rubber, Icon front and back, nice fast rolling cross country race tire, triple compound. Um, this is the Max Speed Edition, and they're all tubeless ready, including the uh, the wheel sets as well. Uh, comes with a pair of tubeless ready valves, so uh, when you're ready, you just pop out the tubes that are in there, put in some fluid, and, uh, and away you go. Turbine flat bar up top, pretty typical um, for uh, any cross country race machine. Uh, V2 Pro, stem and seat post, uh, and really beautiful colors on the Wookiee this year. So essentially what they did was they took the Darwin colors, reversed them, um, and made them into gloss. Okay, pretty sweet. Uh, handmade in Italy, Physique Tundra on the new Wookiee. And as I mentioned earlier, with the front hub, the rear hub is also boosted, so it's a 12 by 148 through axle. And again, just future-proofing the bike and just allowing you to really have a little more versatility moving forward uh, when thinking about upgrades, carbon wheels, what have you. And we've got a Shimano external uh, threaded bottom bracket. Actually, really cool design here. Technically, the frame is a PF30, um, but what they've done is they've inserted a press fit sleeve and then that's actually threaded, and then they've inserted the uh, external threaded uh, Shimano bottom bracket. So a lot of options moving down the road. If you want to switch to, uh, let's say, a Race Face Next SL, um, then you can do so and press fit a BB92 into there. Okay guys, so that's about it. That's the brand new 2017 Da Vinci Wookiee Carbon XT. Um, again, look for some more models uh, to come later in the year. Maybe some aluminum, maybe not. Uh, da Vinci's being really hush-hush about it. This one here weighs in at 22 pounds. So again, um, leaves the door open for some upgrades. You could probably get that weight down to sub 20 pounds for not a lot of money. Um, so if you wanna book a test ride, just give us a call or uh, check us out on Facebook Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you give us a thumbs up like and tell your friends about our YouTube page. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. The way Da Vinci has set up the drivetrain is something reminiscent of uh, touring bikes, uh, some cyclocross setups. So you're getting the 2x11 Altegra class, a 5034 compact ring up front. This is going to allow for really effortless climbing.